Bringing it around. Wegar is up to the top. Tommy, the shot opportunity. Golden with the leg pad save. Filter backs that one into the corner. Carolina able to hold into the zone. Viglino with a shot opportunity. That one blocked right on the way through. Wigar with a shot opportunity. That one sitting on the drive. Back and forth. And they score. Looks like that's going to be Loza's goal. So 16-44. Time of the goal. Carolina is going to go up 1-0. That was a very interesting goal there uh, off a of deflection. And Shot opportunity, that one off the leg pads of A.J. Gold in Columbia. They'll clear this one out, a two-on-one -on -one opportunity for the infantry. If they hurry, and they score! Short-handed goal by the Columbia infantry, breaking up a defensive play. The, the defense had pinched in. Columbia able to get two guys behind the defense, and they tied this hockey game up on a short-handed goal. 554 remaining to play here in the period. Yeah, that's a huge that's that's huge in the sense that it was a And the infantry with an opportunity. Sean Bolton they let a shot go, a little lob, a nine iron lob shot, and that one got behind Pablo Matugian. A minute twenty six into the period. Columbia. They're gonna go up by up by one. Fourteen oh eight was their first goal. A minute 26 into the period. So in just about five minutes, they went from down by one to up by one. And that was the puck over to Glamkowski. Clayton Glamkowski now tipping it into the zone. Viglino back over to Glamkowski. Backhand forehand. Pass across. They score. Goals. Looks like it's going to be Matthew Loza, his second goal of the game with from Glamkowski. And I drawing a blank. I, We'll wait and see. I think Viglino with the second assist on it. So Caden Gumkowski getting a point against his former team. Now as I say that, Kane's gained possession. Here they come. A three to one, a three on one the other way. Braden Strong tried to go short side on Golden Carolina. They're gonna score. Got Strong got that initial shot. It wrapped around the goal. And it looks like that goal is gonna probably be. The most favorite goal Caden Glamkowski ever score against his former team. Oh, yeah. That's very unique as it went behind. Strong back the other way. Has tell you, has Long Nane with him. Drop pass. Long Nane, quick shot opportunity. That one off of the glove of AJ Golden. Dropped and just kept on going and did, did sort of the knuckleball curl down and under, and it's in the back of the net. Under a minute, two goals for Carolina. Quick response for the Canes after being scored on. And we just talked. We're going to be feeling that one in the morning because that was just a clearing pass right to the top of the pants line. Nolan Bolt back there. They're having a short he scores. Oh. Michael Schwartz with the goal. There, I know the first assist is going to come from Nolan Bolt. I don't know if we're going to have a second assist on that goal. Oh, that was gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. You can't get. A better pass and a better just draw. He had easy, he had Ruben with a lot of room, but again at game speed at ice level. We oh, have, goal! I was just about to say we have that benefit of the height, but they have the advantage of seeing stuff. at Carolina able to poke that one home. Six-two Carolina, minute forty-two remaining. A short-handed goal, seven seconds remaining on the charging penalty. It looks like Caden Surchek's goal. Yes, it was a beautiful setup in front, a pass. Right, and not only that, you also have, uh, you talked about Golden before, and speaking of, here's a chance and a goal. On oh, Kaden Glamkowski, top shelf, where Grandma keeps the cookies right over the glove side shoulder of A.J. Golden. Not a whole lot Golden could have done on that one. Just textbook lifting the puck by Kaden Glamkowski. And it's funny that that's what happened because I was going to bring up how Golden has been doing so so well in the only yeah. situation. Trying to clear this one out of the zone. You had a hit back behind the play. Dylan Walton now an odd angle shot. And he's going to score off of the back of the shoulder and the skate of Mano Bo Kohler. Kohler thought he got that with the blocker, but it hit off, it pinballed off of at least two, possibly three parts of his body and just barely ended up inside that far corner of the net. Seven to three, uh, 83 seconds remaining.